Gary, thank you for your video response. Um, well argued, well presented. Um, I disagree with a lot of it, but I don't really want to get into the disagreements because most of them don't really have much to do with what uh, what I'm discussing with Bella Goes to Hell. Um, my in uh, my um, exchange with Bella is uh, concerned with um, positive or negative experiences themselves, not the causes or catalysts of those experiences, but the experiences themselves, the qualia. Um, and given that, um, I don't really believe that it's possible for anyone else to experience my qualia. I'd like to hear an argument uh, that counters that, by the way, if such a thing exists. I've never actually come, come up against an argument uh, where someone says they can actually um, be on the receiving end of someone else's qualia. Um, I, I can imagine maybe I, somebody could plug into my organs, like my eyes and my nose and my ears and stuff like that, and have wires running over to electrodes on their heads. They might be able to see what I'm seeing in my eyes. They might be able to hear what I'm hearing with my ears or smell what I'm smelling with my nose or whatever. But the positive or negative value that I put on that, the spin, as it were, or the bias that I put on that, um, I cannot imagine any circumstance under which they can actually do that. Um, I would like to, if, there, if, if an argument is, is out there that sort of challenges this point of view, I'd like to hear it, but I can't imagine such an argument existing. Now, that's central to the exchange that me and Bella goes to hell are having. Um, I asked her somewhat rhetorically, but uh, I'm going somewhere with this rhetorical question, whether or not it's possible for the will um, to intervene in the process of experience to manipulate or to influence the value of qualia. In other words, can the intervention of human consciousness, or consciousness really, it doesn't have to be human I suppose, just consciousness, just the will, can the intervention of the will manipulate the value of an experience, the positive or negative value of an experience? It seems to me as though that can be done with mental self-discipline. Um, we can all do that in small ways. Uh, the obvious example is going to a gym and pumping iron and pushing yourself hard. Um, and something that is essentially a negative experience is in the long term a positive one because, you know, the old no pain, no gain type thing. Um, certain things actually do result in stress and pain when you're looking for a goal, uh, when you're pursuing a goal. There actually is pain that is not being switched over by the intervention of things like endorphins or whatever. There are things that are actually negative that you're able to, through the intervention of the will, um, either reduce the negative value of them or turn them into positives. Um, a hardship willingly endured has less negative value than a hardship that is unwillingly endured as a general rule, I suppose. And again, what the key word there is willing, unwilling. Will. The will intervenes to change a positive into a negative or a negative into a positive. I suspect, although uh, we're still sort of in the beginning stages of this debate, if it really does end up going anywhere, um, I suspect that it is possible for the will to intervene to turn or to manipulate the value of qualia, to manipulate the experiential outcome of qualia, the value that we place on qualia. Um,
Bella, apparently, although I'm not sure, um, seems to believe that it's not possible to do that. Now, I was, <laughs> I'm almost hoping that um, she does disagree with me in this, because I would like to sort of have a come and go with her concerning this issue. Um, I would like to explore this issue, whether or not the will can manipulate experience and manipulate positive negative value. That's all that, that, that's all that this uh, exchange is about, I hope. Um, I hope that I've made that clear to her. All the rest of the stuff, while admirable and interesting, is beside the point. I'm interested in how the will relates to the value of experience. Thanks for the response.